Seemingly Production. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's Nelly Marie here, back again with another video. Today's video is gonna be another unboxing. This is gonna be a luxury un unboxing. This is multiple items. So this is basically everything that I got for my birthday within a span of two months from August and September. So I was getting like early gifts and I was getting some gifts on my actual birthday and Oh, I, I uploaded the unboxing of the Chanel already, so that's a part of my birthday gift too, but I did a whole separate video for that, so that's like not included in this. So this is everything else that I got, and I'm happy to be showing you guys and sharing you guys what I got for my birthday because maybe you are interested in some of these items. So I just want to say really quick, in no way, shape, or form, I am bragging or anything like that. I really enjoy other people. Um videos of unboxings and stuff like that so i'm like why not just make some content and why not bring unboxings to my channel because i enjoy that so i, I know a lot of other people out there enjoy unboxing videos if you're not interested in luxury items or anything like that just click off of this video this is not the video for you i'm not here to make anyone feel bad who like maybe can't afford the items maybe can't afford the items it's just like not like a bragging situation here this is just content and unboxing the items that i recently received and they are luxury items so this is everything i got for my actual birthday let's hop right into it first things first um i got these the end of august i'll say when did i get these hmm maybe august 26 or something like that around that time i went to nemo markets i actually went to the store for this i was out of town and i went to nemo markets these are Alexander McQueen's, as you can see. So I'm gonna unbox them. I wore these before. I wore these a few times, maybe two times. So they're a little, they shouldn't be dirty, but you can tell that they're probably worn. So this is the pair that I got. This is the Black Alexander McQueen's. Um, I forgot the name of these. Let me see. These are the um, cheap like Alexander McQueen's everybody get. I really don't remember the name of this. That is so bad. These are black on black um, Alexander McQueen's sneakers. I got a size 39 in these. And these are really, really cute. Um, I like to pair these. These are basically like the new Air Force ones. So you could, well, not the black ones, of course, <laughs> but like the white ones, you would get them. They have them in all colors, all white with different backs. They have a lot of different black ones as well. But um, these are like the new Air Force ones. So these pretty much go with everything. If you're like over Air Force ones and looking for something like a little bit more luxury, but not too much, Alexander McQueen's is right for you. Um, normally Alexander McQueen is like 400 but I think I paid like five something, almost six, honestly, for these. Let me look at the receipt really quick. I got these from Neiman Marcus. Oh, the price of these was $540 and with tax was $579. Yeah, okay, I paid cash, so I can show you guys. I feel like every girl need a pair of Alexander McQueen's. Every, even every guy need a pair of Alexander McQueen's. They're just like a basic shoe to have. Um, they really don't cost that much. I've seen some as low as $390, $375. You can go on Essence and they have some like on sale right now. I believe they're like $390. So you can't beat that for Alexander McQueen's. Honestly, walking in these though. I think everyone need a pair, but they're not really walking shoes. They're not like comfortable as Yeezys. They're not walking shoes because my feet was kind of hurting and my feet never hurt in shoes because I don't know, like I don't have like fat feet or anything like that. I have normal feet. So I don't, I rarely hurt in shoes unless it's heels or something like that. And I have them on all night. Of course I'll be hurting, but with sneakers, I never hurt. But after like an hour or so and walking in though, they was hurting a little bit. But I was out of town, so that might be the reason I was walking too much in those and those are not walking shoes like I stated before. But just be cautious of that. I feel like everyone need a pair, but 
they do hurt your feet just a little bit but my next two items are sunglasses I got these in August as well these are some Versace sunglasses I got these from Saks Fifth Ave um, these were on sale it comes like with probably care instructions and things like that and an authenticity card maybe and the glasses wipes this is the actual case and I believe these are men's glasses, if I'm not mistaken, but they worked. They're a little bit dirty because I just wore these over the weekend, but this is how the glasses look. And these was on sale for $290. So, um, I'm not sure if you guys want a close-up of these. I don't know the name of these either. I'm bad at this. I'm like so bad at this because I really don't know the name of this. Maybe I could find the name. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have the name. I'm so sorry. But they're black. Fuck nigga, I don't wanna hear it. Ain't taking the bag. I cover my ears. I hop in the lamb. I'm switching the gears. My bitches is balling. Make these niggas shit. Love these. Love these. These are on sale. So I'm like, why not just get them? So it's over for those. Like I said, everything in this video was gifted because this is like my birthday haul. This is, <laughs> I was gonna say birthday haul, but it is kind of like a haul slash unboxing slash review. Um, this is everything that I got for my birthday and it was all gifted to me. So that's the glasses. And then next is the St. Laurent glasses. I got these in August. I got these in early August. These are really cute. I like the YSLs on the side. It's so weird because all brown glasses look really cute on me. I don't look cute with um, black glasses. Even though those are black, it was gifted to me, so I'm like, okay. But I would never buy black glasses on my own. Well, yes, I would because I like the Louis Vuitton glasses in black. I don't know. <laughs> but I prefer brown glasses on me. I just think I look better with brown glasses. So the lens might be a little dirty. Because I don't clean stuff. I never keep up with my stuff. <sighs> I'm so super, super bad at that. I need to start keeping up with all of like my luxury items. I just be throwing these across the room and whatever. But these are cute. I like that they're wide and they're pretty big. So they're like a statement. Like even when you don't want nobody to look at you, when you're in the airport, things like that, you could wear big glasses like this. These are cute. This is cute for the summer. I got these the end of August and I will got to wear them like a couple of weeks in August and the beginning of September. So these are cute summer glasses. I think I paid 200 I don't know. I got these from Saks as well. I paid 200 and something. Me and my cousin bought two pairs of glasses at the same time and it was buy one get one half off. So I paid like $200 and she paid like $200 basically because we got buy one get one half off. So, yeah, that was a steal. I never had no YSL. I never have, I don't have anything YSL. Oh, yes, I do. I have YSL heels. But um, that was my first pair of YSL glasses. So, I was excited about that. So, next, we are on to shoes. I got these from Saks Fifth. These are Dior. Christian Dior, Dior. I'm in all the stores. <laughs> Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. So these are Dior heels, guys. I got me some classic Dior heels because I'm I'm really into like classic pieces now. I feel like I did like all of the bright colors, the seasonal bags, and like seasonal things like I need all classic pieces now like I'm into Louis Vuitton Chanel um, Dior but I'm only going for like the classic I'm not going for no seasonal pieces I'm starting a new collection I'm starting a collection basically of all classic pieces and that's how I kind of want to start and then in the future once I get a lot of bags or a lot of shoes or whatever in my collection then that's when I'll start branching out and going back to like seasonal pieces and things like that but I want to start off with like all classic pieces and I think these are like classic Dior heels I 
I got a size 40 because in heels, well, close toe heels that's pointy, I always got to get a size 40. Like Louboutins, I wear a 40 in those, closed toe. Um, open toe, I always wear a 39 and everything. Like all my other luxury shoes is the 39. Um, I even have some Louboutins that's open. Um, Christian Louboutins that's open and they are 39 too. So normally I wear a 39. But I got 40 because they're closed toe. I could have probably got a 39 because the back is open so it gives you enough room but I don't want like my heel hanging out on the back of it so yeah and I like the detail on the back of the Dior shoes so that's pretty much it for these let me tell you guys how much I spent well I didn't spend this is a gift again um, let's see $890 and with tax, it came up to $969. I just want to say really quick that I manifest like every single thing that I want. Like I write it down on the notebook. I see what I need to save to get it. I basically just like plan out everything that I want for that year. I'm not, I'm not a type of person that could just like walk in the store and just spend money on it, spend money on that. It's like I literally plan for what I want. I go to the store, I actually see if I like it or I'll look at it online, see if I like it, and then I'll go make that purchase. Like, I can't just spirit a moment, um, buy stuff. It has to be something that I really, really want if it's luxury. But I don't mind gifts now. Like, the gifts could keep coming. I do buy my own luxury items. I pretty, I buy most of my luxury items. Like, a lot of people think that people gift these things to me, but in all honesty, like, I buy pretty much everything that I have on my own. Um, I do obviously get gifts from like my friends or family or the, who I'm dealing with at the time, but I do. I really don't think that a person is gonna buy you something that you can't buy yourself. I'm gonna give y'all some free game really quick. So the thing is to having guys or the people you're dealing with like buy you things, you have to be able to afford that stuff by yourself. Like have all of those things and then when you meet that person and you guys are dealing with each other for some time they're gonna want to buy you something on your level that you can afford that they already see you with so it's like if it's something they don't see you with like they're pretty much not gonna buy it for you so when you go out with a rapper you go out with a dude or just anybody like make sure you look your best make sure you wear like your top things that you have <laughs> Cause it's like that's the type of thing that's the level he's gonna put you on and those are the type of things that he's gonna buy you so long story short long story short get on your shit buy your own shit because who's gonna buy you something that you can't afford yourself and why even buy why would you even want something that you don't have like three times in your bank account you know that's like a whole twitter debate so let's not even get on that because that's so annoying when the whole birkin thing like no nigga if a nigga wanna buy me a birkin he could buy me a birkin like period <laughs> so accept all gifts period <laughs> we'll buy your own stuff too so next on the list we have something from pristine jewelers pristine jewelers is a jewelry company that's in new york city and this is a watch you see the packaging the nice crown on top this was a gift for my birthday so i'm going to take it off the infamous green box ah! almost dropped it the infamous green box is here so i'm going to take that out And here we go. The Rolex that I receive is a date dress. This is a two-tone date dress. So this is stainless steel and gold with VBS diamonds on the bezel. Um, I made sure that I got VBS diamonds. <laughs> On the bezel but um yeah so that's pretty much it about it it's a two-tone oh it's a 36 millimeter the face is 36 inches 
So I really don't know what else to explain about this. I was gonna, well, I still have to send this back to the jeweler to get the face change in it because they have to put the Roman numeral um, numbers inside of it instead of the plain one. But by the time I got this watch, it was like four. And then what's the guy that work on watches? I don't know what they're called, but the guy who like changed the change out the faces and things like that left around four. So I was unable to get it that day. So I have to send this watch back to New York to get Roman numeral numbers in it and it's free of charge. So I just haven't had the time to send it back yet for them to do it, but this is pretty much it. Let me take it off of here so you guys can see it on. I hate stuff on my left hand. Like, <laughs> I need it on my right. But this, this is the watch on me. I feel like this is the perfect size. I kind of wanted a 31 millimeter. I wanted something smaller. I don't know. I like the little cute dainty watches. I didn't really want um, a 36, but it was a gift and I'm excited about it. I am able to change the color of the face as well as the Roman numerals. I think it was a whole, it was a bunch of faces that they asked me which one I wanted. And I think I picked out, it was a pink one, it was a gold one, and it was a white one. No, not gold. It was white, pink, and black with all Roman numerals. And I was able to choose out of that. But by the time I chose, the guy wasn't there anymore. So I have to send it and get it swapped out. But I am excited that I finally 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 got my first Rolex I think I'm gonna leave this one plain it's always nice to have like a plain watch which I think I'm just gonna leave it like this and if I decide to get another Rolex or another watch that one probably will be bust down in the future um, but yeah I think this one I'm gonna leave plain with the diamond bezel because that's cute to me that's all I need that's all I needed like a little plain joint I wanted to say the time is actually wrong on here because you know when you don't wear the watch I probably wore this watch once or twice so far since I got it and I had it for probably a little over a month now so it's like once you don't wear it like the time is off because it's sensitive to like your arm or whatever that's how the time go so the time is definitely gonna always be off and the date is gonna always be off because I'm not gonna wear this all the time um, I don't know, I just feel like this is not a watch that I would want to wear every single day because it's not that serious to me. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who got me something this year. I want to say thank you for all of the gifts that I got. This is pretty much a lot of things that was on my wish list that I got this year. I got the Chanel bag and I got the Rolex. So those two things were definitely on my wish list for this year and things that I had to get by the end of 2020. So um, I accomplished that and I got those. But my wish list so far, let's see if I can think what's on there. It's, I have a whole bunch of things that doesn't have to do with like luxury or brands or anything like that. Just stuff that I want to accomplish for myself. So I probably could bring like a wish list video to you guys so you can know what's on my wish list. And then you guys can share with me what's on your wish list. But as far as the luxury items, I think I just want an, I need another Chanel by the end of this year, preferably red. And I told you guys that already in my last um, Chanel unboxing and I need a gray Dior bag. I just feel like I need gray for the winter. Like I need a gray Dior bag too. So those are the two luxury items that, that I can think of that I need. Other than that, I really don't have to have luxury. I don't always get luxury items 24 seven. I'm not the person that has to get something luxury all through throughout the year is honestly I handle like my business my main priorities I have something coming up really really big that I have to focus on anyway so luxury items is not my priority right now at this moment <laughs> but I want to thank everybody for watching this video and making it all the way to the end make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I'll wait for you yeah subscribe to the channel right now we're gonna take a few seconds Okay, back to what I was saying. I want to thank you guys for just subscribing to my channel. I appreciate that. And if you guys want more unboxing, more luxury hauls, more clothing hauls, let me know below and I will bring it to you. Until next time, as always, I will be uploading a video every Thursday and Sunday at 6 p.m. Bye. See you
Production.